What's going on guys? I'm coming to you today from the kitchen of our cargo trailer conversion and we're going to talk about the one item that we installed during our conversion that just does not work for us. I know there are several folks out there using the same system and I'm sure they're having great success with it but uh, we have given up on it to say the least. Um, it takes a lot of adjustment, it takes a lot of time and when we're on vacation we're not really looking to adjust anything or take the time to do that so we will be converting our tankless hot water heater at some point to an RV style hot water heater hopefully a 10 gallon because we've got five people in our family so stay tuned and I'm gonna give you all the details on why a tankless hot water heater is not for us This is the tankless model that we purchased. It is a gas land and it is meant to be a portable unit. Uh, it's mounted so you can connect a water hose to the bottom and it had a shower head on it and it had a little handle so you can carry it around, you can mount it to a pole, you could do something like that and you know it was meant to be a portable unit. But we took this and we installed a vent up top to vent to the outside and uh, you know that way when the propane's burning it's not pushing all that heat inside and who knows what other gases for the first few trips it worked fairly well mostly for me I can adjust it and make it work there have been so many times where I couldn't get it adjusted correctly and you're either burning yourself up or you're freezing yourself out of the shower when that happens, obviously it's extremely uncomfortable. It'll really get you upset because all you wanted to do after a long day of hiking or hanging out at the beach or whatever, you just want to get a nice shower. This controls how much cold water is mixed in with the hot water and how hot the water will get. Um, right now we've got it turned all the way up and that's from this winter. And you know, during the winter you're going to get colder water coming from the ground or from the water lines and during the summer it's going to be completely opposite so you technically should get to a campground hook up your water and run the sink or the shower and come in and adjust these things to get it correct that is not exactly what we were looking for when we're camping uh, we camp in a lot of different locations and we're not really looking to get there and run the water for 20 minutes and adjust and trying to get it right so the consistency of the water temperature at your campsite or wherever you're camping plays a huge part. The second issue we've had is water pressure. Uh, each campground you go to is going to have different water pressure. I have found that a campground with higher water pressure, it definitely works better for this water heater. Uh, lower water pressure just destroys everything. Sometimes it will barely come on. You can turn the hot water all the way on and it may turn on it may not it just it really depends on the water flow through this system and low water pressure will get you every time i will say that if you have a permanent site in a campground that has consistent water pressure it has consistent water temperatures or you don't mind adjusting from winter to summer this probably would work well so that's our opinion on this uh, tankless water heater. Again, I'm sure there are others out there who have used this and it works great. And that's awesome for you guys. I was really hoping we could make this work. I've tried for over a year to uh, make adjustments and make it work for us, but it's just not going to. So I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Please, in the comments, let me know if you've been using the same system and it's working for you and what your tricks are to make it work. I'd love to hear them. Uh, if not, and you're doing a conversion, and you've used a different type of water heater, I would love to hear about that as well. Uh, we are looking something that is off-grid friendly, so that's why I'm thinking a regular RV water heater is probably going to be best for us, because it can use electric or gas. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, be sure to check out our other videos. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll check you out next time. Thanks, guys.